the next day I just called my family and I was like, I know something is different about me and I want y'all to tell me. You're going to tell me. And they told me and then, you know, my sister was like, you came from a place that started with a G in Fort Worth, Texas. I Googled them. I called the adoption agency the next day, gave them my social security number. The lady was like, yep, your file's right here. I'm like, what the? Like, yeah, that like, easy. I'm like, oh my God. And she's like, yep, you're right here, doll. You know, her name was Patty. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, even when my sister told me, I still didn't believe her. Like, I, you know, even when my brother told me, I still didn't believe. It wasn't until I called this random adoption agency and they were like, yeah, you're right here. Have all your file. I have the paperwork that your mom filled out. I'm like, oh my God, like, tell me everything. And she was like, well, you have to get papers notarized. It'll be eight to 12 weeks. You know, if she ever registered to meet you, maybe you get to meet her, but your adoption is completely sealed. You may never meet her. But you can get your post-adoption paperwork, which meant like her height, her weight, how old she was, like just non-identifying information. And then I went and wrote that lady a letter because I was gonna hire her. My, my ex-boyfriend was like, okay, so we're just gonna hire that lady that was on Oprah, find her. And then I did, and then she forwarded my stuff, and then I was in Hobby Lobby, and I got a phone call from the Oprah people. I'm like, what? Who are you? <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> and then all I cared about was, was it free, and was I going to get to meet my mom? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then that's what happened.